Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about why we want to use NumPy array instead of list. We know very well Python list can also be used to save numbers, but why specifically we want to use NumPy array? And it is one of the famous interview question. The answer is very straightforward because of its higher performance and less memory. Let's see that with the proof for the better clarity. Here I am creating a list in the range of 0 to 99. Then I am using for loop. For each value in that range, we are trying to find the cube. Cube means the number power 3. So in order to find the execution time of each loop, we have a command called percentage time it. Percentage time it. Let me execute. So after execution, what exactly happened is this percentage timer will display the execution time for each loop. It means it took 74.9 microsecond plus or minus 3.16. You leave that value. It took almost 75 for each loop. The same program now we will execute using the NumPy array and see the performance. Import numpy as np, then num equal to np dot range hundred, then percentage time at number power three, that is cube. We will execute. See the difference. Okay. It took around seventy five microsecond in the Python list, but when we use the same program using numpy. It just took around 2.57 microsecond. It is just for a single loop. Then just imagine if it is going to be a very big machine learning problem and you can understand how the data size will be and uh, how many variables we'll be using. Lot of permutations we'll be doing within the model. So all these performance can be improved simply just by using the NumPy array. So that is the main reason we want to use the NumPy because of its high performance. So the conclusion is NumPy is always best to use. And the second reason is because of its less memory allocation. Once again, same program, we are going to use it. In order to find the memory allocation, just importing two more package, import time, import sys. Now print memory allocated in the list sys dot get size of q sys dot get size of q star len of q this line will tell how many memory allocated for this particular variable q memory allocated for this particular program is 91200 same program so we already imported the numpy let's try to find its memory allocation cube equal to num power 3 now memory allocated in numpy is num dot size star cube dot item size we will execute just see the difference same program with the list it is occupying around 91200 but when we use the numpy it just took around 400 only so you can see how much memory allocation we can able to save it by just following the numpy array so this is one of the interview question everyone know the reason like uh, performance and because of memory allocation but when they ask you about how to do the comparison between the list and the numpy then you can explain this simple example so that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning